Hello, Charlie TCG here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's deck profile is Giratina V Star, the big baddie right now in the format. It is the powerhouse, and it is doing exceptionally well uh, right now. In the um, basically at the league, the league, um, the city leagues, it's like thirty-five percent of the top eight, and one over eight of them, which is just insane numbers. Uh, I think it's a really, really strong card, and it's one of those really fun decks that was like a tier one deck before, and then disappeared completely because of Luke, and then resurfaced because of uh, Big Paracel was um, rotated. And it can just really hit hard and consistently 280 damage, which is amazing. From my testing, I find Sableye an amazing uh, late game attacker. Uh, even if you don't get some KOs, like it can really help set up with Lost Impact, or even if Lost Impact didn't get KOs, it can like clear up those ones. And it's a consistent attacker. It's always strong, it's always hitting hard, and normally you're getting like a turn to um lost impact. And sometimes we're in such a slow Meta, we can use Giratina's first attack, Lost Abyss, where you can put like two, look at the top four, like Chorus, but you add two to your hand and Lost Zone too. So it's a really, really good card and it works either way. Now, for my build, I'm going with the um, Lost Zone deck instead of the Arceus build, which I talked about. Play a 3 3 Giratina line. I think that is a very, very optimal line right now. Super, super strong, super powerful. You don't need more. I would definitely not go less. Four Confies, one Cramorant, one Sableye, one Manaphy, one Radiant Greninja, and Drapion. These are kind of like the staple pieces for Garatina. You want to have a uh, consistent other attackers as well. Cramorant's amazing early game. Radiant Greninja and Sableye are really good late game or even mid game to help them set up some damage. With Scoop Up Net rotated, these damage counters can sometimes just stay on the board. It's really, really strong. Manaphy to help also in mirror matchups as well especially against other Greninjas, is really, really good against. Now, I do play Drapion, and kind of people might be like, yeah, but Mew, I'm like, you have still decent Mew, and like we don't play any choice spells, so the only way how you can get one-hit KOs is like on bench Pokemon, and not Mew VMAX, unless they're set up by Sableye. But Drapion also, I mean, it's a very expensive way to do it, but it can help against Gardevoirs, Mewtwo V Unions, everything like that. So it can help in other decks as well. So I really like my Pokemon lineup. Energies, four Grass, four Psychic, and two Water. Kind of very bog stand. I would love to go for four Grass, four, water, four um, Psychic, but honestly, the space. And also we play a Raihan and two Energy Recyclers. So there's constant ways to reuse some of this energy early on. We play two Path and one Beach Corp. Path is really strong, especially to help shut off other decks. And um, once we set up everything, we don't really need Greninja anymore. We can just play Path down, really slow down either opponents, Lugias, or opponents, even like the opposing side. And even some of like Maridons or stuff like that, like really slowing down the opponent is really good. Especially we do play one Beach Core. Beach Core is um, obviously it gives everything free retreat and it's amazing. But I've gone I've opted to go down to one Beach Core purely because you are playing four skate rope and four switches, and a lot of decks out there are playing Beach Core to give um, their basic Pokemon one and one retreat less. So you can afford to go down to one and um, purely based on what else is happening. I play four chorus experiment because it's a staple. You want to try and get out the turn to Lost impact with your Mirage Gate, so this is the one of the quickest ways to get it out. Two Bosses Orders and two Roxanne, good disruption cards. Um, Roxanne is really, really powerful, especially like late game. If you go Roxanne Path to slow down like a Mew or slow down other decks, this is really good. And both again, similar analogies to other ways how I'm feeling like it. Serena just can't cut it right now because we have other EXs out there and you can't predict what's going to be the main play. So having two bosses is really good. And the one Raihan, reuses some energies plus get anything you want is just super good. For Mirage Gate, VIP Pass, Escape Rope, Switch. These are just really standard cards for Veratina. Nothing much has really changed except like from like the current rotation we're in right now. But having the, having these more of a higher options, um, skate rope for these little bit of disruption and switch because we're playing um an evolved Pokemon, we can't get the benefit of switch cart. So that's why we are playing for switches. Uh, two Nest Ball and two Ultra Ball are really really strong. 
Um, this is a way to get some cards back later on. You're always probably the only way you're getting your V star, like through search, unless you're drawing into it. And next four is this. I'm glad this got reprinted. This makes easy options and easy ways to get the Pokemon out instead of like quick balls and discarding. And two energy recycler, because you go through your energies quite quickly with Greninja or sometimes having to retreat if you don't have the stadium out and just reusing all the energies again. That's kind of my list where I'm at right now. I'm a really big fan of this. Nothing much is too much changed. Very similar to the list that are winning. So I'm not like reinventing Dark um, Giratina, but this is where I'm happy and really, really like it from testing as well. Some of the tech options you could potentially go with Halucha to get some bench damage on, like Zigzagoon was used a lot. I'm, you could play like Halucha and really work which could go well in this. You have Arceus V-Star, like that kind of changes the entire deck that goes to Giratina Arceus, which is doing well. It has won a couple of events and it is starting to top deck a few things. So it's an easier way. Instead of like relying on like the Mirage Gates, you can get it from use Trenton Nova to then get into Lost Impact, but then you might not be able to get Star Requiem because you're not going to get like 10 in the Lost Zone that quickly, but it's a way around it and Arceus is kind of coming back and making a comeback. I'm going to do a deck profile for that uh, next week, discussing uh, my thoughts and feelings on how I feel like that deck is. You can also play like Poker Gear. Poker Gear is kind of coming a little bit of popularity again, um, especially in these style licks. So you can guarantee either a boss or Raihan or a Colrus model, importantly. This has seen a very much more play in the tournament that's doing really well. And you could even see Clara fitting in as well. Ways for you to other um, recovery cards. Um, Bennett EX is also doing really well right now. Um, there are loads of other techs. These are kind of some options you may want to consider. Uh, I will still feel like the Lost Zone version is better than the Arceus one because you are more versatile in your attackers and you have single prize attackers as well. The Arcus one, you can include like your guard, Gardevoir, um, Radiant Gardevoir. So effectively against the V, its HP is like 300. But I really like um, Lost Zone right now. I think that it is so strong and Sableye is amazing in late game. So let's finish off by just admiring the list again. You really need to understand this list but before you go into post rotation. This is one of the best decks right now in format. We're just going to constantly see it evolve and adapt. I'm really excited to see how it's going to change. This isn't going to be the final list, what I'm going to be playing, but this gives you a better understanding about what a post-rotation list is. It only adds one card, but it changes so much, and it, this is so powerful. So that is the deck profile right now. Uh, let me know if you're going to be testing out um, Giratina Vista. I've been playing a few games with this um, this list right here, and I am loving it. And it is just so powerful, and you can constantly streamline attackers. Uh, if you're new, um, please subscribe and leave me a like. Uh, comment down below what list you're really excited for to try out in post rotation, and maybe I might go around to creating it. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, guys, and I will see you guys soon. I